Yo, what's up guys? Lydia Alverson here, back with another demonstration for you guys. Today, this is an audio-only demonstration. Yep, you heard right. This is audio-only. So, sorry guys, for those that are sighted, I'm afraid you're only gonna see visuals. Or, I'm sorry, you won't really see too much. Um, so, today I'm gonna demonstrate how I use an iOS device, specifically my iPhone, as someone who is blind or visually impaired. Now, let me go ahead and briefly briefly tell you about the screen reader I'm using. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating how I use the, voice, the voiceover screen reader. Now, voiceover is available across all of Apple's platforms. This includes iOS, tvOS, watchOS, and macOS. I'm so sorry for the background noise, guys. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as minimal as possible. But anyway, um, enough rambling. Let me go ahead and let's get start get let's get started with the demonstration. So voiceover gives a description of what's on screen. So for example, right now I'm in the voice the voice memos app. Now if I touch the screen, waveform it basically reads what's under my finger what I just touched. But to really get the best out of voiceover, I'm going to go ahead and go home or I'm going to go to my home screen by hitting my home button. Default. And by the way, I'm using a success plus. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and touch the top left corner of my screen. Default apps folder, 22 apps. Double tap to open. And it gave me a hint on how to activate the selected item. Now, say I wanted to open this folder. I can do just that by double tapping. Whereas with sighted users, they can just tap the screen. But when you, of course, when you use voiceover, <laughs> um, all tapping is going to do is, of course, what it just demonstrated, which is to read the item that's on screen or what I just touched. So I'm going to go ahead and double tap to open this folder. Opening okay. default apps folder, default apps heading, double tap and hold to start edit mode. And of course, you heard a little bit of information there that tells told me what to do there. So oh, it opened the folder for me, and it brought me to the heading, so I can actually rename this folder by 3D touching on it, if I wanted to. But just for the, just to save time, I'm going to just, just show you the basics for right now. Now, for basic navigation, I can flick left and, or flick left and right with one finger to navigate this. Yes, all of my applications are organized in folders. So if I flick to the right, or swipe to the right. App Store. Double tap to open. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. And, of course, it took me to the first app I have in there, which is, of course, the App Store. The Apple App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through this list. Calculator. Calendar. Camera. Clock. FaceTime. Files. And, respectively, I can flick left to go to the previous item. FaceTime, clock, camera, calendar, calculator, app store. And, by the way, I did a two-finger single tap to pause speech. Now, to get out of the folder, I can do one of two things. I can hit the home button, or I can do a two-finger scrub, which is basically like a Z pattern, almost. Closing default apps folder, default apps folder, 22 apps. Double tap to open. And... That's all there is to it with, with basic navigation. Not now. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording because there's another thing I want to go ahead and talk about. Another bit, uh, just another one of the basics I want to go ahead and talk about. All right, guys, I am back, and now the next topic I want to go ahead and talk about is how I can navigate by certain elements with VoiceOver. Now, VoiceOver uses what's called the rotor, and the rotor can be changed on how you would like to navigate with voiceover. You can add certain items and settings if you'd like, which I'll probably demonstrate in the future, sometime in the future. So, if I wanted to, like right now, characters, I can change the setting, by the way, by twisting with two fingers, like I'm turning a dial. Words, speaking rate, volume, and I can, by the way, I did that clockwise, and to go back, I can 
rotate counterclockwise. Speaking rate, words, characters, language. And I'm actually on the language rotor right now. So to do to navigate the rotor, all I have to do is flick up or down. So I'm gonna go ahead and flick down. English, Australia. And it got me to the next language. I'm gonna do it again. English U K. Irish English. South African English. English U S. Default language. Okay, you get the idea from here. So all I'm basically doing is just going through all the languages I currently have. But I can also, of course, as you heard earlier, I can go by I can go by words, characters, and so on and so forth. There are other options. And this actually comes in pretty handy. It makes things a little bit easier. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I go to the app switcher? Well, just like a sighted user would. App switcher, voice memos. All I had to do was hit the double click the home button twice. Voice memos, active. And I'm gonna go voice memos. Let's open this back up. Record, heading. Now there are more gestures, um, you know, gestures for, for scrolling, turn, muting, you know, voiceover, you know, muting the speech for voiceover, turning on screen curtain, and a whole bunch of other things. Now, I may demonstrate those sometime in the future. And by the way, in honor of the Apple event, that's why I decided to do it this week. So, if anybody is interested in any more content, any game-related content, please feel free to comment down below. If mainly, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, if there's a specific question you have, actually, feel free to go ahead and comment down below if you'd like. Um, um, I'd be more than happy to answer it for you. For those that are, you know, new to getting an iPhone, or for those who are new to Apple in general, you know, I want to go ahead and say congratulations. And welcome aboard. Um, and there are plenty of resources, way too many to mention here. So there are definitely plenty of resources you can use to help you out. And if, like I said, you're interested, feel free to leave a comment, and I'm more than happy to answer as the yeah, I'm more than happy to happy to answer questions. So, with that being said, thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoy this demonstration. This is Lydia Alverson, signing off.